Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara Arnold and today I'm going to be channeling Ascended Master Saint Germain and the Ascended Masters for an Energy Ascension update for the month of January 2024. So the energies feel it really delicious, really happy. I can feel a lot of light code frequencies coming in. So if you're open to receiving light code frequencies that I channel, from the Sun Masters through my chakras to you, just say that you're open to receiving and whatever your spirit's open to receiving at this time, then you will begin to download it and receive it yourself. So the, the frequencies that they brought through today, as a collective, we all put in our blueprint different belief systems into the ego consciousness. And when I say collective, I mean every single person on planet Earth. So like 7.9 billion or whatever the amount of people that are here in the blueprint we have certain programs that we all have running so two of the programs that we've been running as a collective consciousness here on earth is the belief that i don't belong and the belief that i'm not enough so if you're open to receiving you'll start to feel like you belong here more and that you feel like you're more than enough so over the next few days when you integrate these frequencies you might have things come up in your reality to um, help your body release those beliefs so you might feel rejected or you might feel not welcome um, say that you go to somebody's house for the holidays and you just feel like oh i'm not fitting in people are ignoring me it's just because your spirit is bringing to the surface the old belief system that you're going to be transmuting. So today, as you receive the light code frequencies for those beliefs, the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies are going to be releasing those over the next few days. So you're going to bring in the new belief and out with the old. So you might find you get triggered over the next few days. That's a good thing because it, because it means that your spirit's just bringing it to the surface to let it go. Just observe it as it lets go. So if somebody ignores you or ostracizes you or rejects you, just tell yourself, I am enough. We're just letting go of that old belief system. And over the next few months, you'll start to feel more confident and more like you belong. Um, so we're all running that program and the children being born, like he showed me the year 2021 and and forward like 2021 22 23 and from now on they they are coming in with a sense of knowing who they are and a sense of belonging so they're not feeling um, the same way that we do so it's not a program running in their belief system that they don't belong so they're going to have a lot more confidence because they're like well i have a right to be here i feel comfortable on planet earth i feel like i belong here where um all of us on planet earth we had that program running that we don't feel like we belong so it comes up a lot in our lives so without further ado i'm gonna get started i'm gonna go into trance and channel the message for the january update and if you're open to receiving those light frequencies just say you're open to receiving i hope everyone has a happy holiday and i'll see you at the end Oh yes, welcome. I'm St. Germain. We welcome you. We are showing our channel. This is an exciting time. This is an exciting time on planet Earth. There are new frequencies coming onto the planet with the next full moon on December 26. These will bring up uncomfortableness in many with the releasing of the old the releasing of the old way observe with every full moon observe what is coming to the surface what are your triggers around the full moons this is showing you what you are letting go of what you are no longer required to carry within your auric field within your mental body your emotional body your spiritual body and your physical body this is excellent we would say to observe what is triggering you around the full moons this is your spirit showing you what you are ready to let go of do not resist observe it and let it go with ease so that you do not continue to repeat the pattern once you let it go without judgment all of these triggers all of these shatters that are coming up around the full moon times once you let it go with ease, without judgment, you will no longer create those same triggers in your reality. This is a time to let go. We would say to practice presence around the full moon. 
be present in the moment and observe what is arising observe what is arising the day before and the day after a full moon observe 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 be in the now moment be present in the now moment we would say that as you are entering 2024 many of you are reaching the end of a cycle an end of a cycle of transmuting on planet earth you are all light workers and there are many here today that have been transmuting much of the dense energies on planet earth for those that have been going through many uphill battles for the past 10 or 15 years it is that it will get calmer you will notice more expansion within yourself reflects that expansion back to you if you look at your love in your life and how much love you're receiving you will notice an expansion of love because it is the work that you've done on yourself with loving yourself you have expanded more love so it reflects back to you as you are watching your bank account and it is reflecting the expansion that you have within you then you will see the bank account go up because it is a reflection of how you've expanded your bank account is expanding or if you are stagnant and you are not getting out of your comfort zone you will not see much expansion because you are staying in the comfort zone and in order to expand one must step out of their comfort zone the comfort zone is the ego consciousness and stepping into 2024 expand expand with new ideas and try new things we cannot say this enough because it is imperative that you expand your consciousness and unfold something new into the now moment it can be as small as trying a new item for dinner or cooking a new meal that you've never cooked before it could be doing a new game with your child that you've never done before all of this is expansion it could be reading a new book or writing a a new poem it could be listening to new music all of this is expanding because it is getting out of what you normally do and trying something new when you begin something new then it instantly unfolds new into this now moment from your consciousness when we say consciousness we mean that your soul all of your past lifetimes all of the lifetimes now are all happening now there is not any time of linear it is all happening now and within that now moment within the soul there is an expansion of consciousness with everything new that you try or do we would say to try something new especially when you are in most resistance of it ah yes this is excellent you are all expansion of consciousness and the year 2024 will feel lighter for many of you simply because a lot of the work is done we would not use the terminology work but we will allow it for now there has been a lot of inner work or inner ter turmoil that has been transmuted back to love and many of you have been working intensely on this you have uh, strict practices we would say to lighten up on being so strict with your practices as this is another box that you have put yourself in yes it is imperative we wouldn't use that terminology it is beneficial to have a practice but the strictness of it how much pressure are you putting on yourself when you do your daily practice are you waking up and meditating but if one day you wake up late are you berating yourself or belittling yourself or attacking yourself or criticizing yourself for missing your meditation time this is where we are saying to lighten up if you wake up late and you feel rushed stop beating yourself up we would say do not criticize one oneself we would not use the terminology stop we would say we recommend to not criticize oneself uh, ease up on oneself get more relaxed with your practice and check in does this something my inner child wants to do at this moment maybe some days you are not feeling up to doing meditation then go play instead ask 
yourself what is it that my spirit wants to experience right now if you're finding meditation is getting boring then that is your spirit telling you it wants a new way it wants a new way are you expanded to the point where you are no longer needing to go into deep meditation because every moment in your life you are in a meditative state in the now moment you are more present when the spirit is getting to the point of presence in many moments on the planet and then the meditation isn't so necessary because you are using every moment to be in a meditative state when you create with your paintings or your art or your music or your exercise this is a med meditative state in itself and you are being present in that now moment. There are many of you that have had this practice that you were being aware of the now moment and putting yourself in the now moment. That is the meditative state. And then you are forcing yourself to go meditate for an hour or two and you feel resistance of this. This is because the physical body is mental body emotional body and spiritual bodies are saying i no longer need this i no longer require it as my daily practice with everything i do is a meditative state and the spirit is getting bored it would rather go create in the now moment and be present with the now moment than force yourself to go into a meditative state we would say that for some of you going into meditation uh, it counteracts because of the ego consciousness is battling the spirit to get into the state and so there is a resistance uh, um, a fight we would say between the ego and the spirit you may find that going into meditation no longer resonates and your spirit would like to do it another way we would say to honor that listen to your soul listen to your spirit we are using the words soul and spirit interchangeably, but we would say that there is an aspect of you that has separated from the soul so that you could experience what it's like to have an individual experience on planet earth. It is an illusion of being individual. And at the end of each lifetime, your spirit gets added to the soul and the soul holds all of the lifetimes it holds all the knowledge and all of your experiences ah oh, this is exciting we are showing our channel the month of january there is a lightness there is a lightness on the planet it is a blanket of energy coming onto the planet for the year 2024 which will calm many and trigger others this is for those who are not uh, awakening at this time for those spirits who have chosen not to awaken at this time it would cause more triggers but for those that are on their awakening path you would notice a feeling and a sense of calmness and a sense of being in your power you will notice this around others you will feel more respected and you will feel that you are not getting um, we would say attacked or challenged as often you will notice more alignment the only thing that we would recommend is to be present in the now moment and state that you are not going to give your power away that it is no longer necessary to give your power away in your situations before you go into a grocery store or into work or into a mall or into a funeral wherever you are going where there are many people then we would say a gathering when you go somewhere where there is a gathering ground yourself pull your consciousness in expand it out and walk in with your essence walk in stating that you will not be giving your power away state that you do not want to see or feel how anybody in the room is feeling and be present in your now moment be present in your expansion and you will find that it is more comfortable it is more comfortable for many of you we are showing our channel we are bringing through light code frequencies of divine love through this video today and that many of you are receiving this is excellent you will feel
calmer in the heart. There are many frequencies coming through for the heart chakra, the third eye, and the crown chakra. There are many frequencies for calming one's mind, quieting the mind. Ah, oh, it is a feeling of being anxious when one does not feel they are enough or one does not feel that they are belonging. We would say to observe this when you do not feel like you are enough, tell yourself you are more than enough because whatever you are doing in the moment, whatever you are in the moment is where you're supposed to be or else it wouldn't be happening. And you are more enough than enough in every moment. But you must tell yourself, I am more than enough in this moment. Do not seek validation outside of yourself for that. Do not look to other people for that. You are all well aware of this. Uh, the feeling of not belonging. Many of you are struggling with this at this time because as you have let go of the people who no longer serve you on your path, the people that you have been giving your power away to, many of you have let go of these relationships and it is the letting go of the relationships. There is a grieving process. Even if you were abused by these people in your reality, it is a grieving process because you, your ego program was running the program of I belong here, I belong with the abuser, I belong with this group of people or this person in my life, I feel a sense of belonging. And so when they are no longer in my reality, then I feel lost, I feel lonely, and I feel grief. This is not to be judged. Simply tell yourself that it is that you do not need to belong, that you are enough, that you are enough without needing to belong to any parts of a group. Anywhere where there is groups of people that you embed yourself into their reality and make yourself part of the group to feel like you're belonging. As you're letting those go, then tell yourself that you belong. You belong and that you're more than enough without being in this group or without attaching to these people. We would say that it is a letting go, a grieving process, and to be gentle with oneself. As you go in and are no longer seeking validation outside of yourself, you will see that many of you have smaller social circles. We would say this is excellent in showing you where you are on your journey, how much you have expanded, because when you are less expanded, you require more people in your reality to validate for you that you are enough, that you do belong. So as the awakening, many of you on your spiritual path of the spiritual awakening are noticing that your social circle has gotten smaller and that the universe has been removing those who no longer match your vibration. This is a celebration. When you are expanding your consciousness, you are changing your vibration. And many of the people around you no longer match that vibration because they are not expanding in their consciousness. So when the universe removes these people from your reality, celebrate. This is a celebration that you have expanded your consciousness. Go in and give that love to yourself. Give that love to your inner child that you were seeking within these people. Tell your inner child they belong. We would say to do an exercise of visualization of holding yourself at every age and telling yourself that you belong age one age two the newborn in the womb go back to every age and tell yourself that you are enough and that you belong do this in a visualization if you do not visualize then write it down uh, we would say the month of january is exciting for many light workers on the planet at this time but you will notice that the chaos on the planet may ramp up in the sense of natural disasters and fears from those around you that are not on their spiritual path. We would say there is nothing you 
have to do to assist with this except for be present and expand your consciousness then those around you can begin downloading from your presence because you are offering a vibrational frequency of divine love but if you are speaking to them from the ego and you are getting caught up in the same vibration that they are coming from the ego then it keeps them in victim it keeps them in the ego consciousness because you are both battling from the egos trying to figure out the problem silence and staying present and expanding and listening listening to them speak as you are listening to them speak and explain their problem their spirit can begin to download from you and you will notice that they calm down at the beginning they'll ramp up because their ego is saying I do not want to receive that light frequency that that person is offering so then I am going to fight it and their egos may appear to get louder for a few minutes and they will begin to calm simply because you have expanded your consciousness and been present in the now moment they can begin downloading from you the energies that are coming onto the planet for Jan January will be fast paced they will be fast in their frequency you will notice that you're integrating light code frequencies much easier now as light workers you are able to integrate these frequencies because you have reached a point in your expansion that your physical body is now adjusting to these light frequencies easier and so that you will find that you integrate them faster this is why we're showing our channel there is a rapid expansion in consciousness on planet earth uh, for the year 2024 it is rapid because you have reached a point where you are integrating much faster uh, the physical body mental body emotional body a spiritual body is uh, more in sync there is more in harmony there is not such resistance from the physical body as you are receiving the light code frequencies that come in onto the planet with every full moon each time they come in it is like a blanket that gets put on into your auric field and your physical body at times does not recognize these light frequencies because it is vibrating quite densely but as it is adjusting now to the these frequencies you will notice that you integrate them easier it's not so sore in the body it's not so uncomfortable with the physical ascension symptoms because your physical body is recognizing the light frequencies as safe as instead of uh, resisting them this is exciting this is what we are saying on planet earth for the year 2024 you will feel more abundance in this way you will feel more abundance and more powerful in your essence and we are excited for your journey. Blessings for 2024.